Hi friends, today we'll talk about arithmetic progressions. Arithmetic progressions is chapter 5 in our NCRT textbooks. I believe that arithmetic progressions or AP as we most commonly know it is a very interesting topic. It is also very useful from our exam perspective. So let's look at what an AP is. We see a lot of patterns in our daily life, don't we? Say you had 18 chocolates in a box one day. They were gifted to you by a friend. You kept it safe in your Almira. But the next day when you checked, you were only left with 15. And on the third day, you had only 12. Someone ate 3 again on the fourth day and you had 9 chocolates only. Now you see that these chocolates follow a pattern and it's a decreasing one which you don't like I'm sure. Let's look at another example. Say you deposit 50 rupees in your piggy bank one day. You say that you'll deposit 50 rupees every month. In the next month you'd have 50 plus 50 that is 100 rupees. While in the third month you deposit 50 again. Then you had 150 rupees. Now if you see the amount in your piggy bank goes on increasing with every passing month. If you observe carefully there's a constant sum that you are adding every month that is 50 rupees. Rupees 50 that is the difference between two consecutive terms is not changing. Now an arithmetic progression is something where the difference between two consecutive terms is constant like the one here or the one here where every day someone ate three chocolates. So in short an AP or an arithmetic progression is nothing but a series where the difference between two consecutive terms is constant. Now this constant difference between any two consecutive terms of an AP is called the common difference. We usually denote the common difference by the letter small d. Now this common difference for any AP can either be positive, it could be negative or it could be zero. When the common difference D is positive, we see that the terms of the AP go on increasing. For example, say the common difference D is 5, positive 5 and the first term of the AP is 1, then the, then the next term would be 1 plus 5 that is 6 and the following term would be 6 plus 5 that is 11 and the next term would be 11 plus 5 or 16 and it goes on. If the common difference D is negative for example say negative 3 then the terms of the AP go on decreasing. Let's assume that the first term of this AP is 8 then the next term would be 8 minus 3 that would be 5 then 5 minus 3 or 2 then 2 minus 3 or minus 1 and then minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 and so on. The common difference can also be 0 that means D is 0 and we'll have the same term repeating over and over again. If the first term is 4 the second term would also be 4 and so on. We usually denote the first term of any AP or arithmetic progression by the letter small a. Small a usually denotes the first term.
now let's have a look at the general form of NEAB now let's say that A1 A2 A3 A4 and so on are a part of any AP or arithmetic progression now by definition we know that A2 minus A1 is equal to the common difference D also A3 minus A2 would be equal to D because the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant for an AP similarly A4 minus A3 would be equal to D and so on so from this equation I have A2 equal to A1 plus D now if I use this value of A2 in the second equation I would have A3 as A2 plus D which is nothing but since A2 was A1 plus D this would become A1 plus D plus D or A1 plus 2D and when I substitute this value of A3 here I would have A4 equal to A1 plus 2D that is the value of A3 plus D or A1 plus 3D now here we know that A1 is the first term and we can represent it by A so A is the first term the second term or A2 would be A1 plus D or A plus D that is A plus D the third term is A3 and that is A plus 2D and the fourth term is A plus 3D the fifth term would be A plus 4D and so on so this is nothing but the general form of any AP now to find out all terms of an AP you must know two things A the first term and D the common difference if you know these two about any AP you can find out all the terms of that AP let's say that the first term of an AP is 6 that is A equal to 6 and the common difference D is minus 1 then the AP would be 6 5 4 3 2 and so on now there are two types of APs one is the finite AP and the second one is the infinite AP now the finite one has finite number of terms and the infinite one goes on forever it does not have a finite number of terms also if an AP is given to us say for example we had the AP 5 3 1 minus 1 and so on then we can easily find out what the first term and the common difference is the first term is clearly 5 here this is the first term and the common difference can be found out by subtracting the first term from the second that is 3 minus 5 it's always good to verify that the common difference is common throughout or is constant throughout so we can check by subtracting the second term from the third term as well so you can see that D should also be equal to 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 and this was also minus 2 hence the common difference D is minus 2 and the first term A is 5 I hope you are clear about the concepts of arithmetic progressions in the next video 
we'll talk about the nth term of an ap and its general form bye